Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have implemented in the calculator.js, we have successfully implemented the promise functionality. The asynchronous functionality we have implemented. Now let's try to test this one. So before testing, let's try to see that whether all the test cases are passing or not. So if we try to see here, calculator dot version dot then it is failing. This is not a function. It is saying that in the main dot spec dot js 1337. Yeah, as usual. So we know that in the main dot spec dot js we have written the show version. So this one is now this one has become asynchronous. Let's try to comment out this one. Okay. Why means? So first we need to implement implement the functionality of this one. Then afterwards we make we need to make it pass. So first we need to implement this functionality. So we need to make this functionality test uh, write the test case so that it can be passed. So now if you try to see return fetch of something like that, it is there, right? So this is present in the calculator.js. It is a part of the calculator.js. So where we need to write the spec, we need to write it in the calculator.spec.js. So here we are having all the functionalities. And here let's try to create another describe. So describe. So here I am telling I will be writing get version. Okay. So this is a test suite. So I am writing the function for this one. Okay. And here this is a test suite. And here I need to write the spec. So it should get data, get version from external source. Okay. So this is the spec case we need to write. So function. Let's try to function. Sorry. So function here. This is a function. And let's try to remove this dot also. Or otherwise what I can. It should fetch. Fetches. Or otherwise we can write. It fetches. It fetches version from the. Okay. It fetches version from the external resources. Let's try to see the output. Here I have commented the commented this main.js spec file, right? To the spec. So here we will be able to see the spec has no expectations, fetches a version from the external resources. So now we need to write the test case for this get function. Okay. So as you know that this is a this returns a promise. So now we need to test it in the calculator.spec.js. So here what I will try to do here. So let's try to call calculator dot version dot. So this returns a promise. I can use dot then. Okay. So then version. I will get the version. So this one is a function. Okay. You can also use the arrow function. Not a problem. So version. So here version. So this function of version. Now I need to check that this version whether it can it can pass or not. So here I need to do expect version dot to be something like 0 0.1 or something like this. Okay. So the version what it will be written. So whatever the data it is having in external resources, it will return it. Now what I am trying to do. So I am trying to do the external version and dot then a function version when the version is released came. Then I am trying to do the expect version of to be 0 0.1. Let's try to see this one. If I try to see this one. The spec has got passed, but if you try to see actually in the simple calculator dot in the live server, if you try to see what is the version we are getting 0 0.4, but I am testing here whether it is 0 0.1 or not. It's failed, right? It's not 0 0.1, it's 0 0.4, but still the spec got passed. What is the reason? So if I try to go down and see, it is telling that still spec has no expectations, but we have written the expectation expect of version to be 0 0.1. We have written, but here it is saying that. Still, it has no expectations, fetches version from the external source. It is trying to say, what is the problem here? Actual problem. The problem here is, so Jasmine always thinks that it has an asyn uh, synchronous function. So it will try to execute this test case. When it is executing this test case, first it will try to read the version and immediately it will go to the next line. So here there is no expectation. So that is the reason it is telling that spec has no ex expectation. Then after when the version is resolved, the promise is resolved. Then this expect is expect is executed. By that time, this te test case has been completed execution. So that is the reason it is telling that spec has no expectation. So now what we need to do here? Here we need to tell to the test case that we need that you need to wait until this promise is resolved. So this is the main thing what you need to do. 
So you need to tell to the test case that you need to wait until this promise is resolved. How can I say this one? So how can we say is so here for this test case. So you will be having a done callback. Okay, done callback means nothing but when you can say that this test case is done, is completed. So that done callback. So here if you try to pass key, so this function has a parameter done parameter. Whenever you whenever you use this done parameter whenever you write this done parameter as a parameter now you need to tell to this test case when this test case will be completed so when it will be completed when this promise is resolved so here i need to tell done so now here it will be completed now if you try to see the output so it is telling that now you are able to say that expected 0.4 to be 0.1 so now it is telling you correct correct tell correct, correct, correct thing. it is trying to fetch it from the external resources and it is telling that so 0 0.4 to be 0 0.1 now let's try to make it 0 0.4 here so we'll try to make it pass so now if you try to make it pass here successfully the test case has passed and it is telling that fetches version from external resources it is passed successfully so here what we have did here for the test case so you, if you don't make, if you don't write this done as a parameter, so there is no need to do it is synchronously it will be finished. But if you mention done as a parameter, now you are taking a chance to explicitly tell that when this test case will be completed. Now you have mentioned the done here. Now I am not writing the done. So now let's see what will happen. So it is waiting. So it is waiting, waiting when you will call the done for this test case. It is telling that timeout async function did not complete. So 500 millis, 5000 milliseconds, it waited for 5 seconds, still it did not complete it. Where it is, fetches version from the external resources. So it tried to wait when this done callback is completed. So we haven't mentioned anywhere the done thing. So for, because of that reason, so it waited for 5 seconds and it has been thrown an error. Now you need to tell here, so done means, so now this done car done means, so it will wait for the promise is resolved. When this promise is resolved, it will check this one expectation. And that done will be called. Now, if you try to see, it has been executed successfully. Now, the another thing, what what is the problem we are having is in this calculator dot spec dot js. In this calculator, whenever you are trying to refresh, so you are calling this version dot js file, right? So this is an external resource API. We are calling through the fetch, and we are getting the response 0 0.4. But for testing cases, so this 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 costs more, right? So this this costs the resources more. So whenever you are testing, it is trying to call the API request. Why can't we mock this API request also? Why can't we spy on this version uh, version dot JSON also so that we will make the test case that the promise has been resolved. So we will send our own thing spying instead of calling this API call outside API call in the test case. So we will make we will mock that API call so that here so we will pretend that it has written a promise. So in the next video we will try to uh, we will try to mock that API call also using the spy on method. And we'll try to do it. Okay. Hope you understood about this one. How to about the done callback. How to do this asynchronous function call in the done callback. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.